Good morning, guys. Wow, the energy here is amazing. Feels beautiful. Somewhat uh, different from Bali, but still a lovely energy. Bali is, um, I can't really explain, but the words I can only come up with is that Bali is the heart, the beating heart of the world. It is compassion. It is understanding. It is healing. It's all those things that we so want and need, but we struggle to get. And when I first started doing retreats in Bali, when I first stepped out of the plane and walked through the majestic um, airport, I can't explain, but something just came over me. It was like uh, uh, an inner peace. Um, it was like I'm home now. Uh, I felt safe. And it was really, really beautiful when I walked out through the people saying, do you want a taxi, do you want a taxi, as they do everywhere. <laughs> um, you then get into this vastness of energy. And when you start going into the heart of the, the lush rice fields and uh, all the, the beautiful places around uh, Bali, um, you start to realize um, you feel safe. I think that's how I felt. I felt safe no matter where I went. I felt safe. And there was always a smile. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but when you walk out of the door and you walk down the street, I just tend to smile at people. I can't help it. It's just a natural reaction. I, I like to smile and, and want somebody to be happy and, and, and need that reciprocation from other people, need that um, interaction of, of love and happiness, you know? And when you're in ballet, that's what happens all the time. You don't need to even try. It's just a natural reaction. And I remember going on my motorbike uh, and uh, driving, going, wow, what a beautiful smell. Wow, what a beautiful smell. And I, I soon realized when I first got there that the Balinese traditionally um, practice cer ceremonies every single morning, every afternoon and every evening. And the ceremonies include uh, a beautiful flower, flowers and um, blessed water from the water temples which we will be going to and um, incense which I burn every day and I thought oh my god I'm so at home here because in Spain when I do it people think I'm crazy whereas now I'm in a place where this is normal so you know Bali is a place where I thoroughly, thoroughly feel at home and I think you will too and the amount of people who have come to Bali with me and we've done um, beautiful retreats together, you, you've all said how much it helped heal your soul and you all said the same thing. It was all, almost identical messages, how you can't explain how you feel after the retreat and it's true, Bali has that magic, of course you know, with uh, coupled with the uh, energy of um, the retreat, it, it's 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 a win-win situation. So Bali for me up till this moment has always been the place where I know when you come to Bali, you're going to be feel safe. You're going to feel like you're at home. And even though you might be a bit nervous and think, oh, I can't travel that far. The people that did that, that took the confidence, that took the brave step to do it, who never fly, who never go anywhere, after that one trip, it changed their life. And now they're all over the place going, when's the next trip, you know? It's like, so, it's a great day today, guys, here in Laurel Canyon. I just wanted to share this message today because I find, finally um, took the courage to um, do my own very retreat on my own. And the reason why is because uh, from India retreat, I'm going to head straight to Bali and that's where I'm going to write and continue writing my books. But in between that, I'm going to do a, a lovely retreat. Now, this retreat is going to be a little bit different. It's not a retreat where you sit back and just uh, be pampered. This is a different retreat. This is going to be a retreat come slash workshop where um, we basically wake up in the morning, um, you go and grab your breakfast, whichever hotel you're in, and then we meet at a, a very beautiful place. And this place then is for where we will interact and work and be our base for the next seven days um, to come and go and explore Bali at the same time. So it's gonna be a mixture of learning, 
self-healing, receiving healing from the group, and it's only a small group because the last retreat I did was 23 people. And although it was beautiful, some suggested that they preferred smaller groups. And that's why there's only going to be 10 people allowed on this particular um, workshop retreat. So it's gonna be a small group of us and I'll be working alongside you for seven days. And it's going to be beautiful. We're going to practice all the arts of uh, meditation. We're going to do self-healing. We're going to practice how to protect ourselves. All the things that we need, all the tools that we need. And um, I want to suggest that this isn't to become a healer or a psychic, but it is to learn the art of all that I've learned over the decade and a half of how to protect and strengthen yourself and how to uh, cut yourself off from negativity, how to make yourself stronger, even in the times when you feel angry, how quick to change that around and all the things that you would really love to talk about and to, to clear off your life. We will spend seven days together and we will be going through the lush rice fields, we'll be going on walks, we'll be doing the water ceremonies at the beautiful pure temples, water temples. We'll be doing lots of things and yeah, it's gonna be uh, amazing. I think the one thing that I needed to do was not to stress at all and that's why I am gonna choose a location where you can either stay in that particular retreat hotel or you can stay nearby and we start at 10 in the morning and we finish round about four o'clock um, in the uh, afternoon. So it's uh, a lovely day, but in between those days, we're gonna hop off and go to rice fields. We're gonna go on lovely walks and we're gonna do many things together at the same time as experience all the the understanding of spirituality and of course you've got me there and I will be talking to you through the day sharing all the information that I know and attuning to you in a loving way not in a way that it's a one-to-one -one, because I've stopped that now but I will be attuning to you and I'll be sharing all that I've learned and maybe just coming round the group and placing my hands on you here and there through the seven days to, to bring back the power, uh, to open your your chakras, whatever you believe they're called, the, the power points I call them, um, to heal your heart, to to help you move forward in your life and to strengthen your life. If you wanna, if you're working on a project, if you want to find out what your path is, these are the things that these, se these seven days will help you hopefully awaken to. I'm not so sure about hopefully, I think it will, because it's going to be um, an intense seven days, but it's also going to be very, very beautiful because we're gonna take time out to sit in mother nature and meditate, heal, give absent healing, all the things that uh, are the gifts that we hold within ourselves to be able to uh, awaken the power within ourselves because what you what a lot of people don't realize is by awakening all of those uh, amazing things of the gift of sharing your power is that you then receive uh, more power to be able to share that gift do you see what I mean it, it's like the universe knows when you give so the universe gives you back tenfold so that's just one of my secrets I'm sharing with you but these are the things that we're gonna learn the the amazing things that you're gonna attune to and feel when you're in ballet you're going to learn how to awaken your inner gifts and power and that's really what this uh, workshop stroke retreat is about so it's not really about where you're laying down for seven days and oh, I'm just in bliss this is about somebody who wants to move on with their life who wants to carry the tools at the end of seven days to be able to say you know what I can do this now I can crack my life I can move forward in power rather than going from one retreat to another this is specifically for people who want to really find out who they are now I am sorry but there's only 10 allowed on this uh, particular uh, retreat for the year it's the only one I'm doing on my own um, not so sure about next year yet but this is going to be a first come first serve so what's gonna happen is the only way um, you're gonna um, be able to come and to be on the list is to now go straight to info at markbyersky.com and say I would like to know more what happens then is you'll be on a listing order 
that you will be sent the full details and then if you're happy with the details and the price then you contact us back and if you say yes then we will make sure that the first 10 first 10 will be the first 10 and then thereafter um, there will be a waiting list because you know somebody might be poorly or something like that and they can't make it one thing or another okay so that's it really guys it's going to be an amazing amazing journey we are going to be in the heart of a bud and that is um the heart of ballet which is ubud it is the one of the most spiritual places there is when you get into the lush rice fields and that's where i'm uh, hoping to be in one beautiful rice field where we can relax and feel mother nature around us so i'm working on the uh, location now i've got three locations i'm looking at uh, and I, I think it's going to be amazing. So if you're in, you're in, and I'll see you there. And we're going to have a lovely seven days together. It is a very, very unique um, workshop retreat, that's for sure, because it's a combination of, of both, and it's also an experience. So it's very difficult to call it a retreat. It's very difficult to call it a workshop. It's very difficult to call it an experience. So it's all, all of those things and uh, we're gonna have a great time, we really are. I'm so looking forward to seeing you all there, guys. And uh, to the 10 people who are gonna be there, you're in my heart, and I'll see you soon for a huge cuddle. <laughs> okay, guys, take care, see you later, bye.